I've come across towards the Mara River to of course show you all the wildebeest and zebra but mostly actually to show you one of my favorite roads so far. It drives all the way along the banks of the Mara River and it's just so very pretty here. So these are the survivors. The ones that made it across the Mara River, probably across Kichwe. Let's have a look at what they're up to. See if the wildebeest are being entertaining. Pfft. To you too. Good morning. Any fights happening? What's happening there at the back? Them? Can you see them over there chasing each other around? They are thoroughly entertaining animals. It's so funny because the male tries to keep track of his ladies and he gathers them all together in a group and then he sees another male charging in so he races off and goes and fights them and then loses all his females and has to come back and goes to try and call them back to him and then they just sort of canter around in circles Whee! yep keep those legs nice and limber you might have dodged the crocodiles but there are still lions about They've got such fantastic stamina of all the beasts. They could do this. Oh, wait. Are we going to see a fight? Oh, oh, oh. The turn of speed. There we go. Clash of the horns. Oh, and off we go in different directions. Their differences solved through a brief bout of violence, and then they go their separate ways. distraction you missed your chance buddy well I'm not sure that one got it either I just danced across the screen there was that an impala I just saw a flash of motion let's go find out maybe there's a leopard somewhere here although before we go look at the zebra <laughs> belly scratch Oh, perfectly placed log. <laughs> now, Maria, you'd like to know how fast a wildebeest can run. They're actually one of the fastest antelope out here. They've definitely got some of the best stamina. And you're looking at easily 60 kilometers an hour. Um, and that's that's them kind of jogging. I've seen them do, I would say, well up to close to 80 kilometers an hour when they're running away from lions. So they really can race forward when they're being hunted. Not that you can blame them. And they can keep up a steady, I would say, 40 kilometer an hour canter for potentially an hour at a time. They can cover distance very, very quickly. You can see that sloping shoulder, those backs. The tessabi, of course, is the fastest of all of the antelope. And I think, I imagine that the topi, basically being the East African equivalent, is very similar. But you can see these animals are built for stamina, those powerful forequarters. It's just like the hyenas. You know how we always talk about the fact that the hyenas can trot along with that energy-saving gait of theirs? And wildebeest are very similar in their design. Top-heavy. They always do look a little bit like they've been put together from all the bits of the animals that were left over when the animals were created. Okay, let's go to the river. It's so pretty this way. Oh, Sinatra. There is a vast difference between the wildebeest temperament and that of a buffalo. Buffalo tend to be cantankerous, they tend to be quite aggressive, they'll often chase lions, they'll actively chase lions and try to kill them if they can. And they are of course much much larger than wildebeest as well. I mean one big male buffalo is probably at least three times, maybe even four times the size of a wildebeest. Good morning Warthog. So there is a vast difference. I mean wildebeest, the only way that they could potentially be a threat to a human being is if they were stampeding away from lions and they happen to run into you in a panic. But other than that, they will avoid people, whereas a, a dugger boy is a dangerous, dangerous creature to encounter on foot. And it's one of the reasons why we don't bushwalk in this particular area. There's no escape routes for us, and between the hippos and the dugger boys, 
or the male buffalo that hang out on their own oh sweet I don't think that's affection I think that's one warthog wanting what the other one's eating oh yum what's that did you get a forb I wonder if what the warthogs feel about the migration I wonder oh, that is affection cute I wonder if they're relieved at the arrival of the wildebeest because it makes them less less of a target for the hunting lions why bother with a warthog when the wildebeest basically land in their mouths I think it must be quite a nice time for warthog it's the first time I've ever imagined what the impact must be of the migration on a warthog Uh, just over this little piglet is probably just over six months old you can see the tusks starting to show through Are you just using your mom's tusks to scratch your nose <laughs> everything's so much fluffier here even the warthogs are fluffier it is on average quite a lot colder oh the hyenas are fluffier the warthogs are fluffier a little bit of aloe grooming. Oh, somebody's getting jealous. My turn, Mum. Me next. Nisha, warthogs are... I once called them sort of staffy-sized, or Staffordshire Terrier-sized. However, they can potentially go up to there's recorded cases of warthogs just over just under 100 kilograms now that's 200 odd pounds that's a really truly massive warthog and these little ones are much much less than that but a big male warthog can potentially reach sizes of 80 to 100 kilograms which is enormous i've seen some monster warthogs in my time and it just makes the achievement of the other you know, leopards that managed to foist them up into trees really gives you an idea of just how strong those cats are pound for pound probably the strongest predator out here oh, sweet this is such a lovely warthog sighting Beautiful teeth, my friend. Uh, Safari man. Oh, did I get that name wrong, Lou? What was the name again? Sorry. Ah, Safari Wild Man. Safari Wild Man. You wanted to know something about warthogs. Oh, if they can feed without dropping down onto their hocks. Yes, they can. They absolutely can. It's just a slightly easier, more efficient way of feeding. So they, they can, their noses will touch the ground, but it's just more convenient for them to go down onto what is essentially their wrist joint. It's not their knees or their elbows, it's their wrist joint. That is very, very flexible. Little male on the right getting a clean from mum. Getting rid of all of those pesky ticks and parasites. And bristling with pleasure. Is that nice, mister? I must say, I've seen many large warthogs in my time, but I don't know if you've noticed the warthog skull that James has in his studio as reproduced by Bones clones, but I have certainly never seen a warthog of the size of the skull that he has in that, in that studio. That must have been a record-breaking warthog. But if you ask nicely, I'm sure at some point James will show you. Jono, you say that this is the best warthog sighting that you've ever seen. You know, it might be one of the best ones that I've had on these live safaris, come to think of it. It's really special seeing the affection between mum and piglets. Often all you see of warthog out here are their disappearing tails. Trot, 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 trot. Wait for me, mum. I agree, this has been a lovely warthog sighting. <laughs> 